think that was okay to even put it in the game? No, God! Challenge. Hello, and welcome back to my series where we explore heroes and stuff, and um, what the fuck is this? Is this... legal? Oh, uh, sorry. Today, we're looking at the symbiote support by comparing the champion, Book, and the hero, Aya. I know you're all here for the ability comparison, but let's cover the aesthetics first real quick. This is Aya. He's one of the gods of the Dota universe, and a fundamental force of nature. One time, a couple of sentient stars called him a bitch, so he went and blew them up. He almost wiped out all stars in the cosmos before his wrath was satiated. And this? This is a Sabrina Cat reject. Her name is Yumi, and she's a talking cat with magical powers that she may or may not be leeching off of Book, her mount, and the true hero of this duo. Just as Yumi leeches off of Book in design, so does she leech off of her allies in the game. I don't take all my power from the Book. I can also make shields. Uh, true. Her champion passive isn't made for sure. As for what I mean by champion passive, I'll get to that later in the video. The Symbiote Support, a subcategory of the Enchanter class, is defined by having your primary mechanic be to attach yourself to allies and grant them bonus stats at the cost of having less personal agency. Both Yumi and Ayo have an attached mechanic where they choose a single ally, dash to them, and grant them bonuses. The attach range for both heroes is a bit different though, with Ayo being able to dash in from a screen away. The granted bonuses come in the form of increased movement speed offensive prowess in the form of ability damage, attack speed, and increased healing. Io can also restore the ally's mana, while Yumi can grant bonus attack damage. Oh, and also Yumi can become untargetable and loses all ability to move on her own, but I'll cover that in a minute. What's left now is to cover their ults and nukes, so let's take a look at those. Yumi has a linear skill shot as her nuke of choice, nothing new here. What's interesting is that while attached to an ally, she can control the projectile with her cursor. Oh, and conditionally, it slows. Ayo features temporary exploding versions of Aurelian Soul's stars. Though not permanent, they are fully retractable so there isn't the dead space that Aesol struggles with in his kit. Late game, you can buy the Agadim Scepter to make them regenerate passively as opposed to on cooldown. Here, I want to branch off and talk about the most unique item in Dota, the aforementioned Agadim's Scepter. It's a stats stick that grants the user specific bonuses unique to whomever purchased it. We've actually seen this before in the previous video. It showed up as a pickup for Void Spirit, where it grants his shield spell an AoE silence on cast. The scepter can augment existing spells or grant the user brand new ones as well. There's also a much cheaper, less powerful version of the scepter called the Aghanim's Shard. Its bonuses are also unique. Yumi's ultimate is an AoE root that takes a few seconds to trigger. For a symbiote fully relying on boosting a single target at a time, 
It's rather an interesting game deciding decision to make her ultimate be a teamfight tool instead of something that boosts the ally further. Ayo retains the symbiote identity in his ultimate, granting him and his tethered ally a global teleport, with a forced return journey after a couple of seconds. Though not directly stats, it's versatile enough to be used as a ganking tool and as a way to save an ally from certain death. Finally, when talking about kits, it's important to bring up Yumi's champion passive. All League champions have this, it's a unique 5th ability that levels when you do and complements the rest of the kit. Yumi makes shields in combat, Akali gets bonus damage after running from enemies, and Ash gets her signature slow on autos. There's no way to cancel passes in League like there is in Dota. For items, it's a repeat of the Enchanter support episode, so instead, let's talk about the most controversial part of their kits, the attach mechanic. There are three things that confuse me the most in League of Legends. First, there's Hullbreaker. In a team game, why is there an item that only really works when you play away from your team? Secondly, uh. it's these really long walls in the jungle. For a game so heavily focused on mobility, why is this here? You could dash over it, but then if you're a jungler without a dash, you're basically screwed over. It doesn't make sense, you can't team fight here either, it's just so claustrophobic. I was gonna make a full video on these walls, but uh, maybe another time. Finally, it's Yumi. League is all about mobility, we've covered that before. Dodging spells and positioning yourself in the fight are incredibly important to every champion in the game. Every single one, except Yumi. Her spell, You and Me, makes her entirely reliant on the chosen ally for, well, everything. You sacrifice almost all of your personal agency as a champion to become a cosmetic for another. You can't be hit by anything, but you also can't move and you can't attack. For as long as Yumi's been around, this spell has been the hot topic for the champion and has made her among the most hated supports in the entire game. Ayo's tether serves all the same functionality in terms of ally buffs, but doesn't reduce him to a mere parasite. Now that we've covered the abilities, I want to touch up a bit on the agency of supports in both games. Dota's supports have a lot to do throughout the game. I covered this before, but to reiterate, supports are not bound to the lane nearly as much as League supports are. There's camps to stack, wards to fight over, creeps to pull, it's a busy job for a support. In League, aside from the occasional ward to place, supports in the laning phase have almost nothing else to do other than interact with the champions in their lane. With already so little to do, Yumi declares that even moving is too much to worry about. I just don't get it. And that's it, the symbiote support. The MOBA's way of boosting heroes beyond normal limits by having an attached ally playing half of a hero. I thank you for joining me on this retrospective into book. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Potato, out. Thank you.